Hi, this is Professor CC19. Today we're playing level 263 on a quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga. And King has finally reinstated this level as a hard candy order level, which I definitely agree it is. Now, I've played this level before as day three of the 15 Days of Christmas Countdown 2017, but due to the incredibly bright nature of that video, I decided to play this again so that you can actually see the difference between a striped candy and a regular candy. So, the status of this level right now is we have 50 moves to clear, or to collect, four striped striped combos. And we have had some things falling into place from the start. The problem is, it's a bad thing. And this stripe we got, we're not going to be able to use because this entire left section is about to be consumed by chocolate. In the meantime, we have these ticking time bombs set at 8 that we need to get rid of or else we will die. We also have these ticking time bombs dispensers that are capped off by three layers of frosting that we don't want to remove because we want um, intact so we don't get any more bombs. Right now though, I'm worried about clearing out the ones I already have. We also have a lot of these mystery candies on the board and I always love when they give me things that I want, like lucky candies, good things that will help me. Alright, here's another one. Um, right now, though, I'm concerned about staying alive. Oh, okay, here we go. There's a bit of luck. That's what we need on this level. We have a lucky candy. I'm not entirely sure how that yellow formed. But, um, I'll take it. We're removing our one, just in the nick of time. And, of course, we're getting um, this opened up, so we have more ticking time bombs. All right, so, um, good news, bad news. This is open, so yeah, we're getting more bombs. But the good news is our board is also open, so we only need three more orders. We have a lot of these mystery candies still intact. We have a color bomb to concentrate the colors. Um, let's see here. Let's vanquish this threat first and then see where that puts us. Um, it looks like we're about to open everything up, so let's just do that. We're going to open this up. If there's anything good, it's gone. If there's anything bad, it's gone. Um, ah, what the heck, let's do the exact same thing twice. All right, so we definitely don't have any threats right now because we remove pretty much everything on this board. We also have a, a clean slate to make our three orders in 37 moves. So um, with mystery candies, we need luck. With such little time to remove our threats, we also need luck. But really, once that part is gone, and if we can do that quickly, um, this level isn't that tough. As long as we can clear out those early bombs, um, get some candy flow on the board, we just need to know how to work with the colors to make those other orders. Now, provided we will still need some luck, sometimes the board will not cooperate with us. But um, really a know-how, a good know-how of what to do and how to do it is the best means to beat this level. The know-how is when you make two striped candies in the nearby vicinity, how can you get them to line up with one another? Color bombs can help, but, but really they're about concentrating colors, giving us more opportunities to make specials. We need to be careful in lining specials up. All right, so let's see here. We have a yellow here. We have another yellow down here kind of an issue when they're the same color. And I think this one, yeah, this one's definitely going away. All right, so let's try again. Let's try and making some more stripes. We have one here, and we have one here. Now, they're in the nearby vicinity. This is manipulation. We remove the candies in between so that they line up. The color bomb is going to be the uh, means of doing it here, but um, really any way we can get these to line up. That's manipulating the board. And that's how we get these combination orders on what are hard levels. Really, the only thing that's hard about it is the fact that we have a six-color board and those ticking time bombs. 
As you can see here, now that the board is open, it's easy to just make these orders one by one. So that's how I beat level 263 again. This actually was really only my first playthrough, which is kind of weird because I used to think this level was really tough. I don't know if it's just expertise, know-how, either one of them, but um, that's how I beat this level. Make sure you deal with threats early on. You can use lollipop hammers to deal with those ticking time bombs if that's the problem you're having with this level. And then once you have the board opened up, try and use those mystery candies to your advantage and make those orders in the time that you have. Remember, switch hands, those can be lifesavers if you're not good with manipulation. You can line up those candies without losing turns and without risking everything blowing up. So that's why those switch hands are there. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you, and as always, thanks for watching.